Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Boys, it is great to be back. We are talking today about some FIFA 22 ratings. They started releasing some of those yesterday, not the full database, just some teams posting ratings for different players that play for their club, right? It's like teased by each club. I think we're gonna see some more later on this week, potentially. I think we're gonna see a lot of ratings throughout the rest of this week, but we saw a lot yesterday, and we also have to ask the question, what is EA doing with some of the cards that you see here? Pepe, Vertonghen, why did they get such big pace boosts? I wanna talk about that a little bit as well. But also, you probably noticed my voice is not 100%. I somehow lost my voice in the past day. It is coming back, don't worry, we're just fine, it doesn't hurt, no issues. Uh, I'll be back to normal in just uh, a day or so. But again, I wanted to say a big thanks. Thanks for um, all the support, all of the well wishes and everything over the past week and a half to two weeks as Mrs. TFA and I, of course, got married and then um, were away. I appreciate, again, all of that. She appreciates it. She helped me set all this up. This is the new setup. Uh, some of this stuff will be changing, of course, because we're still getting things figured out. But uh, I'm, I'm so excited to be back, man. Fever 22 is literally, you can smell it. It's so close, right? What are we, eight, eight, nine days? Eight days away today on Tuesday. Crazy from getting into our ultimate team. So we have a lot of prep to do. That's gonna be a lot of what we talk about over the next eight days, prepping with about you know the web app, the EA Play, all the information you guys need to know about that, trading and the market, and the release of the game in general. We will be covering it all. But let's talk about ratings because that is what we have in front of us today in FIFA 22 news. We have the top 22, this is what I'm gonna start off talking about, the top 22 ratings that were published yesterday, and then take a look at, again, why I think EA is doing some of the things they are doing with the ratings. So, not, not really a lot of big surprises, big voice crack right there, by the way, not a lot of big surprises from the top 22 on the page one, right? I think some people were expecting Ronaldo to be a 91, I could have seen a 91 or a 92. I think 91 is fine. I think some people are not happy that he got some stats downgraded while Messi is basically the exact same card. He did get minus one defense, I think. But I also think people thought Lewandowski should have had 80 pace. I 100% agree with that. Lewandowski, now the second highest rated player in the game ahead of Ronaldo, De Bruyne, Mbappe, Neymar, and Oblak. Interesting that we have five 91s chilling right there. Uh, Mbappe, of course, a nice little upgrade there being an ambassador and cover star of the game, right? That kind of helps out his upgrade. We'll talk about that a little bit more. Page one here, though, not a lot of complaints besides Ronaldo. Conte with a nice boost. I think some people were, you know, interested. Why is Ter Stegen 90 rated still? Uh, but then you go into page two of the top 22. This is where the questions arise. Mohamed Salah, 89 rated, minus three pace. Mane, 89 rated as well, minus three pace on his card. So what it looked like a lot across the board today is that EA was minimizing the pace again on attackers and midfielders. There were not very many attackers or midfielders yesterday or so far with ratings being released that have gotten pace upgrades, unless it was a huge overall upgrade. Not a lot of pace upgrades for those attacking and midfielder players, but Big time pace upgrades for defenders, especially center backs. Virgil van Dijk, minus one overall in rating, plus two pace. And that's not even the biggest one. We're gonna I'm gonna show you some of the big pace boosts that we saw today. Tamori had a really big pace boost. He looks like gold. Joe Gomez from last year. Everybody remembers that card. Militao with a plus five pace boost, going from 78 pace, 81 defense, 81 physical, to 83 pace, 83 defense, and 82 physical. So a plus five pace boosts on the center back there. One of the most crazy pace boosts that we saw is this guy, Milan Skriniar. 80 pace after being, I think his gold card last year was like, what, 62 or something? 69. So plus 11 pace on Skriniar. 69 all the way to 80. That wasn't even the biggest upgrade. We'll get to that in a second. But as you see on a lot of these things, a lot of center backs were upgraded um, in pace, right? The whole Kyle Walker joke yesterday, they posted this one with 78 pace. It was just a joke. He actually has 92. Rudiger got a pretty solid pace upgrade, 70 pace going to 75. That was pretty nice. And then we have the two big ones, Vertonghen going from 59 pace all the way to 76. 59 pace all the way to 76. And then of course you have Pepe as well, 38 years old 
going from 66 pace to 80 pace, which is why people were very, I guess, curious about what in the world, why is EA doing this? Because most of the time, as players get older, their pace goes down. Right, because they get older, they get you know a little bit slower. Their their age starts to show, if you will. And this for this Pepe and for the Vertonghen, both well over thirty years of age, uh, it's the exact opposite. So I don't think this is just EA pushing a Liga Nos. Uh, agenda here because if you take a look at a lot of the other popular players that were stats that were added yesterday again we we looked at Skriniar we looked at the Militao who had a pace boost and I'm expecting to see this as we continue to see center backs released and ratings released in this game I think we're going to see that more defenders especially center backs got boosted pace because I really, really feel like what they're trying to do is combat, again, the right backs and the left backs at center back. I think they've already taken some measures. They talked about it in the pitch notes where they're going to be hurting the chemistry of some cards where they have those players out of position, right? And I think that's, again, they're trying to minimize that gap between the attackers that have 90 plus pace all year long and the defenders that usually have like 70 pace at the beginning or 80 pace at the beginning. They're trying to minimize that gap a little bit, which I'm all for. I'm all for. I think it's a dope idea. It, the part that sucks, though, is when you look at a lot of these attackers and you're seeing, you know, minus three pace on Salah, minus three pace on Mane, and you don't see those pace upgrades. It's kind of deflating in a sense, right? But I totally understand why they're doing it. I think it makes sense. Uh, and I like the pace boost upgrades for the center backs. I really do. So that's my honest opinion on some of that stuff from yesterday and from the ratings that were released. And I think that's why EA is doing some of these things and really boosting up. And then Vertonghen's card this year, this is a 92 Tots Vertonghen, which I think had 75 pace. It's the fastest Vertonghen we've ever had. And the new Vertonghen uh, is going to be even faster than that with 76 pace. So just... I think I went past it, but just crazy, crazy to see some of these pace upgrades from yesterday. Um, let's take a look at some of the rest of the cards, though. Some other big names. Not this guy. Where's the real one? Show me the big boy, Erling Holland. Brand new, 88 rated Erling Holland. Let's take a look at this. As an upgrade from this 84 last year, he's going plus five pace, plus four shooting, plus four dribbling, plus three physical, two passing, two defense. Uh, huge, huge upgrade for Holland, an ambassador, right? A FIFA ambassador of FIFA 22 makes sense, right? One of the places you actually saw pace upgrades yesterday was for these ambassadors because they have, I guess they're on the cover. They have a little bit of an in, you could say with the A-Sports. So they get these extra boosts, it seems like. So I think that's why Holland got such a big boost. Really, really nice card. This one's going to be a force to be reckoned with. Um, he's going to be very popular at the start of FIFA 22. I do imagine. Another card from a top 22. Hyunmin Sun, 89 rated, 5-star, five 5-star. Five There's going to be a lot of hype with the Sunny. He is going to be the left mid, the center attacking mid, or even the striker that a lot of people will want to use at the start of the game because of that 5-star, five 5-star five that he supposedly had. People are, or has. People are very excited about that. Some other cards that were surprising yesterday. Marcus Urente with, yet again, a huge upgrade after the year that he had last year. 86 rated center midfielder. He's basically Hullet Gang, and he has 88 pace. You can play him as a cam, box to box. I mean, this guy has got, he can play as a right back, to be completely honest. What are his work rates? I guess we don't even know yet. But very, very cracked out looking card there for that Urente. A lot of people are going to be wanting to get in on this card and use him. Also, another card that a lot of people are going to want to get in on, 84 Phil Foden. I'm really confident that this is going to be like your low to mid-tier level center attacking mid that a lot of people are going to use in their prem teams. Probably going to be a decently expensive card because, again, with just the hype that Phil Foden has, the links that this card carries, again, Manchester City, English links, Premier League squads, it's going to be a perfect link up for a lot of people building their prem squads early on in the year in FIFA 22. So, again... Just a ton of ratings were released yesterday. Let's look through a few more of these. And again, just talk about what to even expect, uh, expect like today on Tuesday and Wednesday if they're releasing more of these, at, which I think we will see throughout the rest of this week. Now, supposedly we may not get a database, but the way that it's looking right now, we might get a database because if they're releasing cards like this, usually what happens is they kind of tease it, they tease it, and then 
they drop the whole thing. So we will see if they actually do that. But Timo Werner, minus four shot. Eduard Mendy, huge upgrade, plus three there. Again, we talked about Rudiger. Here's one little point I want to make about the Chelsea squad that I saw. 82 rated Saul. He got like a plus three or plus four pace boost. That to me right there screams once to watch. I think Saul is going to get an OTW card. Lukaku is already confirmed. I think Saul will be getting one from Chelsea as well. With that pace boost, that literally makes no sense. EA is going to be able to release a once to watch card for Saul and say, okay, he's one inform away from being club 80 without the pace. I think that would get a lot of people interested. So I think he's going to be a once to watch is my opinion. Um, Pulisic, decent upgrade as well. Good dribbling, good pace for down the wing. That'll be a nice starter card, if you will, in the Prem. Let's go to Dortmund for a hot second, of course. We looked at Holland. The rest of Dortmund's squad, though, nothing really sticks out to me too much. Emery Chan was a card that a lot of people liked. I think it was last year as a starter beast. Still looks pretty good as a CDM. Not too shabby. Um, Daniel Malen, 90 pace. Dutch links in the Bundesliga. That's going to be interesting. That's almost a guaranteed ones to watch, in my opinion, as well. Since there were so many transfers to the Prem, I feel like ones to watch is going to be Prem filled. But I also feel like EA is going to have to like choose some of the big name transfers that were not prem to try to get in OTW. And I think Malin will be like one of those lower tier cards that does get in. So just, uh, just to, I guess my little opinion there. Akanji looks really beastly as always. Bellingham looks pretty good. Again, you look at some of these center backs, you see their, the pace numbers are looking really, really nice on some of them. So Scholes looks decent. I think he had a pretty big downgrade in defending though. Some people were not very happy about that, but Dorman ratings were decent. Benfica had some decent ratings. Of course, this is like starter squad material. You can get a lot of nice starter teams built here with these Benfica and Liga Nos cards. Uh, Vertonghen, we talked about Pepe. Everton as a left mid looks pretty decent for a cheap card. Pizzi as a center mid doesn't look too terrible either as a box-to-box. -box. Um, Verissimo as a non-rare gold. Great for uh, league SPC, not, not leagues, but advanced SPC trading at the start of the game. Grimaldo even looks pretty decent. Rafa with the pace. I don't know if there's anybody on page two, uh, but you know so it might be a Liga Nos starter team special at least in the back line for some people. So that could be very interesting. Again, Skriniar, huge pace upgrade there. Lautaro had a nice bit of an upgrade on his card as well. I think the pace went down on Lautaro, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, DeVry, 72 pace. Barella looks okay. Erickson got done 30, uh, but he didn't really have a good year last year. Just glad to see that he has a card. That's pretty dope. Uh, Correa it looks like a decent starter striker, like at the very, very, very start of the game, potentially. The rest of that squad looks just kind of average, if I'm being honest. Of course, Porto with Pepe. That's like the big one. Luis Diaz looks pretty decent as well. And I think they messed up Medi's nation here because he is from Iran, not Iraq. And I think they messed that one up. But at least they did it first. They might be fixed now. But uh, I don't know the flags well enough to point, pinpoint that at this moment. So Manchester City, a big one from yesterday as well. De Bruyne, 91. Ruben Diaz with a plus, was it a plus four? 61 pace, but an 87 overall. Still not that usable. I think people are a little bit bummed about that, unless the pace isn't as relevant. But if they're upgrading some of the center backs, you would think pace is more relevant. So that's a bit iffy. Bernardo Silva, 80 pace, but it is a center attacking mid. If he can get some special cards, get that pace up, that could be a pretty special card in the game as well. Joao Cancelo looks really good as a right back. Kyle Walker looks really good too. Um, there was, I think I mentioned this before even, but Kyle Walker had a bit of uh, funniness earlier today. There was like a Manchester City live show where they showed these cards and they revealed a 78 pace Kyle Walker and then behind it was a 92 pace, but everybody was just beside themselves when they saw this Kyle Walker yesterday. It was great fun. That was great fun. Uh, the rest of the City team, John Stone, 70 pace, not too terrible. Grealish's card, it was a guaranteed once to watch by the way. I don't think it's that good, if I'm being completely honest. Gabriel Jesus looks decent. Ferran Torres looks all right. Ake looks like a very starter, beginner game center back as well. So those are most of the ratings. Now, they are all on Footbin. If you go to Footbin, you go to Foot22 Players. I think if you click on like latest players, it'll sort by which ones were added. The most recent, as you can see, as the teams release them, Inter, we went by City. There's, um, of course, Benfica. There's some other City players. Real Madrid. We didn't really look at any Real Madrid cards. Ferland Mendy, still 83 rated. Basically, like, plus one physical or something like that. Not a big change. 
still going to be OP. In FIFA, Valverde was unchanged. Eden Hazard, huge downgrade again. Uh, just two years ago, he was 89 rated. Now he's 85. So huge downgrade on Eden Hazard. I think Bale got a minus one himself. Um, I want to point out this Yannick Carrasco, man, because this guy, again, with the Orente is going to be such a good link. So be on the lookout for that Carrasco. He's going to be such a good link for that Urente early on in the year. Did this guy get a pace boost? 69 pace for him, and it's not that much. Joel Felix, 83 rated. Was he an 80 last year? 81. So we got a plus two. Uh, how big was his actual boost? 82 pace, 79 shot. Last year, he was 81, 81. So plus one pace on a plus two overall, but they downgraded his shooting by two. They upgraded his dribbling by three, and they upgraded his passing by two. Interesting. Interesting. So more dribbling, less shooting for Joao Felix. That's interesting to see. But again, you can do this all day. You can look through a lot of these cards and be like, man, some of these cards look great. Some of them do not look great. We're probably going to continue to see more. We don't have PSG. I mean, there's so many clubs that have not released ratings yet. Again, this guy is being talked about, and this guy is going to be used so, so much. 82 rated Eder Militao with 83 pace, 83 defense, 82 physical. Again, we had Varane Mendy last year. It might be Militao and Mendy this year. I don't know. This card looks really, really insane. So what I would really be looking out for is more of these ratings releases. Big shout out to Helmar Designs for putting this thread together uh, to make this really easy to figure out and to see a lot of the squads that were released yesterday. But I would really be on the watch out for more teams releasing their ratings. Again, Liverpool, Manchester United. People are saying that Pogba is 87. People are saying that Bruno is 88. Didn't make it in the top 22, uh, but a lot of teams that didn't release ratings yet. Hopefully, we get some information on those later on this week. And then I, I'm kind of still hoping for a database, in my opinion. It would be cool after starting to see all these ratings. But if we don't end up getting a database, that is okay too. It's up to EA Sports. We'll see what they end up doing with that scenario. So I'm very excited to get back on FIFA 21 for a tiny bit as well. I've got an 85 times 10 that I will open sometime later this week. I got some packs saved up. I have like 20,000 coins, but I want to try an 85 times 10 at the last rip because I hear they're insane. So I'll give it a shot, but we are full steam ahead FIFA 22 boys. And I'm so excited to be back. Once this voice heals up, we'll be hundred percent and cooking a lot of videos coming out later this week. So mark your calendars, right? FIFA 22, how to start the game, web app tips, trading tips, market stuff, how to spend your FIFA points, some people to spend FIFA points, or if you order the ultimate edition, you're getting 4,600. I want to talk about that. All the good juicy stuff is going to be coming. So make sure you stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up on it. And if you have any questions, comment down below. It has been Nate, the foot account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.